All right, so in an attempt to optimize uh, some of my apps for SEO, I decided to build a headless CMS that I can use for pretty much any Rails app that I build. And what a headless CMS is basically like uh, WordPress, but it's API driven. So Butter CMS is an example. So I thought I was gonna initially use this, but it's pretty expensive. Like it's $99 a month for only 50 posts, so which seems kind of absurd. Um, I mean, I guess they have some special features as well, like WordPress migration, but I don't wanna pay that. So I decided to build my own. I mean, it's a, it's a much uh, more simple version. But I'm calling I'm calling it tiny CMS and because it's very tiny, it's very small. It's a small app, not much features. Um, but uh, I mean, I've been kind of using it to slowly build up blog posts. Uh, but I recently today I got an error call from Stripe uh, saying that hey, we've had some trouble sending requests in live mode to a webhook endpoint associated with your tiny CMS account. So Stripe sends uh, webhook events to your server to notify you of any activity in your Stripe account. So basically what this is, is uh, I'm using the page M, uh, which is super useful. It makes everything just way better. Uh, life, it makes life better, right? Uh, but, hold on. For some reason this is breaking. I don't know why it's breaking because I use, I basically use the same configuration for uh, for Jira Daily and nothing broke there, but in this case it's breaking. So we're gonna check out what's going on. So just to make sure, tiny CMS app, um, it is alive. So I don't think it's breaking there. So www.tinycms.app, www.tinycms.app and slash pay. So slash pay is the webhook uh, endpoint for the page M, at least according to this. So routes are automatically mounted to slash pay by default. And if I take a look at my code, uh, I do have the page M installed and I might have to pause the video right here because I don't wanna show, yeah, well, I'm automatically logged in. There's nothing, may, eh, yeah. So if you take a look here, um, if I take a look at uh, developers and I go into webhooks and first of all, the fact that this is breaking means that someone signed up, right? So if I go to customers, it looks like someone did sign up, I think two days ago, which I wasn't even keeping track of this, but that's kind of cool. Miri Post, what the heck is miripost.com? Kind of curious what that is. Oh, it's a temporary email, nothing, nothing serious. Maybe someone was testing it, I don't know. Uh, but either way, the webhook endpoint isn't working, uh, which is an issue. And I don't know why that is working. Why is that not working? So it says 404 not found. Customer that subscription trial will end, and this is what. And let, let's try resending this, and let's see. Okay, this failed again. I, not really sure why that's happening. So let's actually go to our app, and I'm gonna try to print out pretty much every route, and it looks like. Route for pay engine. We got payment, webhook stripe, webhook stripe. And I do have this pay route here. Um, hmm. Not sure what's going on there. So let's maybe we have to add something in the routes file. I don't think so. I'm gonna try to check what I did in Jira Daily, which uh, doesn't doesn't have any, it's not showing me anything um, useful. So, all right, so we're gonna take a look at the documentation. It says routes and webhooks. Routes are automatically route mounted to pay by default. We provide route for confirming Stripe SCA payments. Uh, okay. Um, 
webhooks are automatically mounted at webhooks provider ah okay so i think ah well that's the main fix it looks like i mean since i'm using stripe it looks like i have to add change this to i'm gonna update this to this pay webhook stripe update the endpoint and try resending and i want to see if that failed or passed it failed again 31 531 i'm not sure why that's failing so webhook stripe All right so one way to try to debug this is by it's by seeing the logs all right cool so i'm gonna try resending this request again and here it seems like it tried to receive a request but something kind of broke so okay got it here and then we got some sort of parameters here and it looks like it says cannot verify a signature without a stripe signing secret and i see what's going on so basically now that i remember it's it's, it's this is one of those things where if you uh don't really configure this that often um you forget to uh, set certain environment variables, but basically for webhooks, you have to set what's called um, like a, a signing secret variable. And I believe in the page M, there's a variable that you can set called, let's see, Stripe webhook signing variable so let's take a look at stripe payment processors and maybe try to look at try to kind of quickly go over these documentation and see if there's any environment variables that we can set so okay so if we're using environment variables we do have to set the stripe signing secret so that's essentially what's broken uh, so all we have to do really is type heroku config set this as i think this is essentially the webhook signing secret and when i'm editing i'm gonna try to block that out uh, basically make it invisible but now after setting that once i hit resend it should hopefully work so if i go to succeeded tab it should work hold on i'm gonna have to someone's calling in with pauses okay that was a delivery um I'm not sure why once I hit retry, oh, okay, it failed again. I'm not sure why it failed again, but let's try to see what's going on. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try to tail the logs again and see what error message that we're getting now. So, uh, I just resent it and it could be that I'm getting the same error and it might be that I might just have to redeploy so that mm, the environment variables actually load processing by pay webhooks. Okay, so maybe this time it kind of works. So it says no signature found matching the expected payload. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna Google that and it says, let's see.
Do you have to? I wonder if you have to restart it. Okay, so whenever you see app will be restarted automatically. Hold on, I'm gonna lower the curtains because uh, this is quite sunny. All right, cool, way better. I'm gonna try resending again. Maybe it needed. There's no signatures found matching the expected. Okay, so maybe the key is wrong. So I'm gonna go to the Stripe dashboard and send events. Let's see. Date details. Webhooks, Stripe said webhook signing secrets. I'm not sure you where you get that. Maybe that W with E value isn't, maybe it's not correct. I'm sure there's a place where you can set that, so Stripe dashboard, Stripe developer sections. Okay. Public key, secret key, Stripe, webhooks. It seems like that's it. I'm not sure why it's not working. Stripe signing secrets. Yes, like another doorbell. All right, so to, someone was at the door. Um, so it looks like the signing secrets actually this. So I'm gonna get this and then I'm going to actually set that value here. And then I'm gonna tell the, the logs and try basically resending the event. And it looks like this time it succeeded. So that was the issue. Um, I forgot to set the signing secret. Um, so anyways, um, I wanted to make a video and I couldn't think of any topics. So this was uh, an issue that I had to deal with today. So I figured I'd make a video about it. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, let me know and I'll be making more videos soon. Thanks.